A beautiful good morning and welcome to the fourth episode of my road to Lisbon and the second part of crossing the Pyrenees. If you haven't seen my previous episodes you, sh you should definitely check them out to get a feeling of how I got here, especially episode number three. Um, because right now I'm in the absolute center and middle of the Pyrenees and in this episode I want to take you with me all the way to the Atlantic Ocean. And also I want to talk about how I plan my routes for those of you who want to go on, a, on their adventure themselves and also how I find these beautiful huts that I stayed in the last couple of days. You can find my exact route in my Komoot collection. I will link it down in the description. Exactly like in the previous episodes, I want to focus on the most spectacular parts. And that's why we're starting off right today, because that's probably going to be one of the highlight sections of the whole trip. So let's not waste more time and go right up to that ridge. Vamos! down in the valley but up there man that wind was so strong it nearly blew me off the ridge once crazy wind all right so I have to figure out now where I'm going next all right so now I'll have to make a plan for the next couple of days um, I want to look for another really remote part in the high Pyrenees before I'm heading towards the coast um, so yeah, let's jump straight into Komoot and let's see if I can create a nice uh, route for the next couple of days. So let's open up Komoot and the uh, route planning. Uh, right now I'm here in Broto. So that's here and I want to get into these high mountains once more. So let's zoom into it and let's, sh let's look if there is maybe a chance to cross them at one point. So up here is a paved road, I don't like that, it's not really remote. And also there is a ski resort, I don't like that either. So maybe a bit further south. This part here looks promising, maybe I can find a way to cross it here. So there is an option maybe, and here. This could be, this could be reasonable here. So it looks like there would be a gravel road up to here and then a bit of a single trail. Um, a bit of bike carrying up to that pass. Yeah, that looks really cool. Now I have this, this road that could be nice, but I also want to look for places to stay up high. So maybe I can find a refugee in this area as high as possible. So I found a website which is super cool. I, can, I will definitely link it down in the, in the description for you. Um, it's called pyrenee 
and it shows basically all the refugees in all over the Pyrenees, which is amazing. So let me zoom into the area where I found my trail. This is right here and yeah, it seems like there is a few options. That's very cool. So there's one down here at 1520. Um, maybe it's, I want to sleep even higher than that maybe. So yeah, there's, there's another one, 1820. So let's open the more, more information. Wow, that looks super cool. Oh, wow, that's amazing. I love that. It looks so cool, but it looks like there is no trees around. So maybe I should bring some wood if I want to make a fire there. But well, that's perfect. I want to stay the night there. That's super nice. Um, so let's go back to Komod and look for this shelter in the map. And yeah, you can even see it here. It's even marked in here. So let's set that as the goal for the day like this and now we can see the stats for the day which is 44 kilometers and 1780 high meters and I'm probably not gonna leave very early tomorrow so maybe that's reasonable for a half day tour tomorrow well perfect I'm super happy with that let's let's save this tour I will download it to my phone and yeah well that's it you could always probably google for existing routes but I find it a lot more interesting to create my own ones it's always a bit of a surprise because I don't check if the road is very, very good or if it's possible. I don't know how hard it will be to carry my bike up, up to the pass. I really love that and uh, I think this is a really, really cool remote area there. I've, I'm expecting to meet no people there. Komod is like the perfect tool to really plan your individual um, unique roads. So maybe you can adapt a few things to your own route planning. So let's see how that goes tomorrow. I'm excited. I have to be really honest, I urgently needed the break day yesterday. The last couple of days were just super exhausting. Um, the Pyrenees are really tough. There's a lot of elevation gain to overcome. There's, uh, it was cold, it was windy, um, but it's not a complaint at all. I loved every minute of it, but I just needed some recovery to be able to, to still enjoy that, that beautiful nature here in the next couple of days. So time for a last break and then let's go for the last 1,000 high meters for today. Seriously, these places are getting better and better. That's an amazing spot for the night.
After this pass, I left the high mountains into a more hilly landscape. It was still a good 300 kilometers to the Atlantic Ocean from here. With a few days of reflection, I can already honestly say that my adventure in the Pyrenees was absolutely incredible. Thinking back to these mornings, absolutely alone in the middle of these beautiful mountains still gives me goosebumps. I can't wait to experience something like this again. And luckily, there's actually exactly this waiting again in my next chapter, crossing the entire Picos de Europa, which will hopefully be not less spectacular. Entering the Basque country, I got welcomed with the iconic weather here. Had some rainy days. And lots of headwind. Ah! Fucking headwind! What a shit day! Ah! But after two weeks in solitude in the mountains, it was nice to eventually explore a bit of the Spanish and Basque culture with its absolutely lovely people. After 18 days since leaving the Mediterranean Sea, I eventually made it to my next huge milestone, the Atlantic Ocean. Since I was here for a surf holiday three years ago, I was dreaming about coming back to North Spain to explore this beautiful landscape and especially the mountains properly. And now I'm finally here and I'm super excited about that. I think episode 5 will be the next huge adventure here, crossing the entire Picos de Europa. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel and turn on the notifications to not miss the next video. Also, follow me on Instagram for daily life updates. And if you like my videos, give them a thumbs up, that helps a lot. Thanks for watching this episode. I will now take a few days of break here in San Sebastian. Surfing is absolutely beautiful here. I want to do that as often as I can. And then I'll move on into the wilderness again. So greets from San Sebastian and see you in the next episode. Bye bye.